In this tutorial, we are going to be going over how to create a memo in GDP 11. So you already should have created your memo in Lesson 29. So I want to just quickly show you again some great tools. Uh, 29H shows you again the basic parts of a memo and 29I shows you step by step how to create a memo. So these are great references if you get stuck on how to create a Lesson 30's memo. So again, I'm going to do Lesson 30. I'm going to do Correspondence 3017. Another great reference is page 102 in your book. So I'm going to double click on Correspondence 3017 and click Start Work. It's going to pull up my Word screen for me. Again, I hope you're saving all these files in a folder in the same folder so you know where all these files are located. Make sure you enable editing and I'm going to start typing. And again, the formatting looks a little different on page 107 so that's why you want to look on page 102 um, so you do the memo correctly. So you're going to hit enter five times, one, two, three, four, five, in all caps you're going to write memo two and hit tab. going to hit enter twice. From is in all caps. You're going to have to hit tab twice so that the text lines up. And thank goodness for spell check. Hit two spaces. Again tab twice. The year needs to be the current year when you see that red dash. And I'm going to paste in the rest of the assignment so that uh, we can save some time. So I'm happy with my assignment. I'm going to save it. File save as. You want to, again, I hope you have a folder, a GDP folder. You want to use the name that they give you. Hit save. This is just a file formatting. Go ahead and exit out of there. So I'm going to upload this file to GDP. For some reason it always takes me out of there. Okay, so I am actually going to submit my work now because I'm happy with it. And it is now grading it. And it tells me I have one error. So I'm going to scroll down and see that my error is with my initials. And again, that's an acceptable error. So I'm happy with my assignment. And now I will wait to let my instructor see it. Good luck.